Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another edition of Doom! So, um, this time around, we're checking out Data 4. Um, this is the final part of the EP Best series, by the way, people. After this, we'll actually begin to new levels and different things. But yeah, I wanted to check out these three. Actually put them up on, you know, the main Punch of Baron series. So yeah, now, now we have all three of these, finally. Hooray! Three levels added to the thing. So yeah, this is the new version of, well, the old version, should I say, of Theta 4. This is actually the older version of said level, just like the other ones. And I don't think there is an, a date on this one either. <laughs> yeah, th th there's not many dates on these. That's the big problem um, with um, Wad Archive. You don't get many dates. So yeah... We just have to basically assume a date based on um, the archive file that we got and basically move forward with that because that's all really I have to work with here. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the old version of Theta 4. Um, basically, if you remember correctly, the version of Theta 4 we played had one custom sky texture. Not sure if that's going to be here or not. I don't believe so. Um, but the very significant thing about this version, uh, besides the fact that it adds like a teleporter or so to Yedza, uh, well, like one of the secrets, is the fact that, Mayor, that this version had enemies in it. Um, the final version did have some enemies, it had like sets or so, but didn't have many. Basically, the author like decided that um, it, because it's a deathmatch wad, that there was really no reason to have uh, enemies in this level, and so we ended up getting rid of the enemies. And so yeah, while the original version of this level had enemies, they were kind of taken out by later versions. Well, at least the later version. I don't know if there's any version after this. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, this is me by Michael Houston, Mathematics Student at Doom Addict. Um, let's see here. Can I kind of find, like, the original Theta 4 water? So, let's see here. Uh, let's go to my channel. So, we just check out uh, where the original version of Theta 4 was. Because I need to see how this compares to this one. Let's see, you go down the list, do, 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 and let's actually just search for Theta 4. That's what the find feature is nice for. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, me. <laughs> see, uh, here we can actually see the README for this version, which as I said, sa it even says in the README, it's the new version. So yeah, um, he's a mathematics student and doom addict. Uh, is the description the same? Um, yes, indeed. Yep, words, words, words. The training ground, Tibetan monks, marine recruits, data series, no other monsters. All the same stuff that you've been seeing. Yeah, there's really not much here. Um... He did add the final paragraph, though, your, uh, um, to the new one, where your goal is simple. You have every weapon at your disposal and all that, and you have the choice to play with a shrine continually, weapons and whatnot, and the different versions of Deathmatch based on the specific version you play in the, the old version, so that didn't really exist like that. Anyway, um... Really, the interesting thing about this level in particular is that we have scenarios. Yeah, there's like uh, two different scenarios we could choose from. Scenario one. Even the Tibetan shrines, tucked away high atop the tallest mountains in the world, could not escape the evil that unleashed upon Earth. Before the shrine could be used as a training area, it had to first become secured and free from all evil. Your goal is to secure the area, either alone or with a team. You'll be dropped in through the central roof, behind the backs of the enemies. Other weapons have been air-dropped around the level for your benefit. It is rumored that Tibetan guerrillas, during the revolution several years ago, once kept a small stash of weaponry hidden in each shrine, including this one. Good luck! So, yeah... Scenario 2. 
and the five days following the securing of the shrine, Data 4 was prepared for training, with all toxins, carcasses, and other forms of evil removed. Your goal is simple, eliminate all of the opponents. Um, you have every weapon at your disposal, yet to get one may not be easy, and this is where the other paragraph kind of came in. Um... And yeah, then it basically says everything that we kind of saw before, that it basically uh, got rid of the first scenario. That's basically what kind of happened here. Other than that, it's pretty much the same level. Uh, yeah. Oh, and apparently it does have a new graphic, so that must be the sky texture, because that's the only new gra graphic of the original. It doesn't really tell us in this version what it is. So, he did an, uh, an LMP of the old one or so that was a good one, too. Hey, I was the one who did the LMP Hall of Fame, remember? Apparently, he did the LMP Hall of Fame, whatever that's about. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It used the same different tools. Um, the same bug was known. Yeah, basically everything else is basically the same. Oh, but after all that, we have like a breakdown of stuff, but that was also here. Um, he did, uh, in the newer one, he told us what changed between the versions. He gave us like a little change log between the two versions. As I said, um, the single player scenario has been removed. Skill Force now designed as a respawn deathmatch game. Um, death match starts have been now more evenly distributed, and there are two ways to exit the sniper's nest, as well as a textuous fixed. Um, so yeah. Other than that, it's basically the general stuff. Um, anyway, it's recommended you play on skill one, because there are no items that disappear, only weapons. And... Skill 2, um, there was less ammo when you pick it up or so, but in the original, he just said same as above. But I think that's actually just the difference in the mechanic of the engine, so it would be the same, right? I believe so. Uh, yeah, he, he basically says the exact same thing, he just says it in different wording. For single-player games, the exit button is between two blue torches. This exit is unreachable during multiplayer games. Yeah, and then he... the rest is pretty much in there. In fact, he hasn't even mentioned about the suicide of the Rockin' in this one. Yeah, he says that you can't... there's no way to kill yourself. He hasn't even mentioned the Rockets. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same exact thing. He kind of gives it away in the demo, um, all the different weapons you can get, so look there if you're unsure. Um, I, I really wish I could actually look at the original LMP file, just because at this point I'm really going crazy about trying to find out how to get that bloody BFG. I, 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 as far as I'm aware, that that's broken. But, you know, maybe someone will eventually prove me wrong. I do enough of these to complain enough, someone, someone's gotta be like, STOP COMPLAINING! THERE IS A WAY TO DO IT! And I'd be eternally grateful. <laughs> and there we are. In the actual level now. Yep, this is the one with enemies. As you can tell by 38 enemies existing. Which did not exist in the final version at all. <laughs> so yeah, it's more fight to survive this one. Compared to a final one where it's really, really easy. It's kind of ironic because the other two are like easier than their final kind of parts. But this one's harder, because this one removed enemies. Could use some ammo. Oh god! Now I know the Cacodemons are deadly. Basically, you need to get some ammo before you deal with them. So you need to run around like a maniac. That's the less I learned from last time. Otherwise, you run out of ammo and aren't able to kill everything. OK, 
Okay, that's one way to do it. Where'd you come from? No wonder I was getting heavily injured. Oopsie daisy, I fell. Owie! Yeah, I knew when I got by the doorway, it probably messed me up. Faster. Okay, now we can move quicker. We can avoid the cacodemons before they come. This is a lot better. Look at all the shells. Okay, this gives me a little bit of ammo to continue on. No one here, no one here. Okay, on would you go? As you see, now we have a full stock of ammo. We might as well move around quickly. Eliminate! Exterminate! Exterminate! Okay. And there we are, lots of dead demons. You want to me to blow up a bunch of demons with a shotgun? You got your wish. Teleport back and forth? Not really that helpful, actually. But it's there! It's a thing! It's amazing! It's a thing! One cat can get me out of the way! Two more to go. Where are they? Oh, here's one. Oh, wait. Okay, there's actually four. I must break you. I love how, like, I've already killed most of the enemies in this map because they'll come to the entry position. This isn't really a level that you can, like, sit calmly and wait for the enemies, you know, to do whatever. They'll all come to you and try and murder you. So you want to move a little bit efficiently here. So you kind of see it worked fine. What's this way? Didn't have this mapped out, so I had to do that. Okay, what's over here? Giant open area. I love it. Rocket launcher. That totally helps the situation now. I mean, there's no enemies to shoot at, but... Rocket launcher. And now all the ammo that I could ever need to kill some. Well, there's still two enemies. And I still need to get the plasma gun, so yeah, let's pretend that this is actually going to be useful. You know, because as usual, I don't know how to get the BFG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no idea. Oh, look! The Cacodemons get outside. Well, maybe they were always outside. I completely forget. Uh-oh. 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 I, I might be stuck. And then you wonder why I saved the game, people! Because stuff like this happens! Could, could you, like, trigger the elevator, demon? No? Let's redo this. And this, people, is why you always save. Yeah, stuff like this bloody happens. You know, then people love to, like, go through Doom without, like, saving the mission. How can you do that with stressful to do stuff like that? Kill, kill, die, shoot everything that moves. See, 
it's been very fast and made it to the central area. Good job, buddy. You killed him for me. Thank you very much. Shout out to the Okay, what's this way? Demons! Wait for it! Let's get some rocket launcher ammo. That'll be much more useful in destroying all these cacos all over the place. It's worth it! Just wait one second, buddy! I'll destroy you! Oh! Not dead? There we are. Now you're dead. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Who wants some? Well, I think I found all the demons! I think I found where they're all located. Okay. Press. Press the valley of death into the random pit of randomness. Yay! That worked perfectly. Okay, now we just dive down into a pit, destroy these two. Oops. And he's dead. And now we can just run over here, press this really, really convenient button, and we exit the level. Doom! Actually, stupid thing, but wait, wh what custom texture was there? I don't think there was a different sky texture, was there? I, I, if there was, I kind of missed it. I was shooting things too much. I was having too much fun shooting things. Oh yeah, there is the custom sky texture. Well, there we are. You want to have a custom sky texture? There you are. <laughs> yeah. The problem is that the custom sky texture here is just so subtle. It's very, very forgettable. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't even consider this, like, a heavily custom textured level. I can't even, like, consider this anything noticeable. You know, I, I wouldn't put this in, like, the same category as, like, Invasion or something at all. <laughs> you know, or Wasteland or anything else which has real custom textures. Anyway, that's this level in a nutshell. Um, yet another level, like I said. And one more in the cycle to see and check out and say, hey, there's a Doom level. Anyway, thank you very much all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and it'll be nice to actually check out something that has nothing to do with that, um, epi best pack or whatever, because now we've covered everything. There's no more excuses to be touching those levels over and over. That's good. We can finally move to some new content and not be dealing with doing the same levels over and over in some weird, repetitive thing. Anyway, thank you very much all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.